Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be diving in and taking a look at some absolutely awesome news we got over on the Tail Worlds forum, the Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord forum about multiplayer. Finally, some multiplayer news. We have been lacking it for some time. And that multiplayer news is that the custom server beta test is currently going on and we are getting a brand new battle mode that I actually have a bit more information about. And you guys will be seeing uh, it being played on your screens right now. I was able to get into one of the custom servers this morning to go ahead and actually mess around with it. Uh, and it is really, really fun. So we got this community post that you guys will be seeing on your screen right now from one of the developers yesterday saying, hello all, you may have noticed noticed uh, a few extra servers have been popping up on your list we are now concurrently conducting a beta test for custom servers with a few community members they're able to host custom uh, games on their local computers as well as dedicated servers they later on go on to say that they're currently not accepting anyone new to be able to host these servers the main purpose of this is just to test stability find any major issues and gather some early feedback then say as soon as these tests are complete any crucial issues are fixed they will go ahead and release these custom server files for everybody so that basically everybody can use this and create their own custom servers if they want to uh, they also say as well that the new battle mode that again you guys will be seeing on your screen right now uh, is currently still in a kind of test period just on these custom servers by being hosted by community members uh, right now it's not fully implemented there's currently various balance issues as well as missing ui and and other stuff and we'll talk a bit more about the battle mode in a second i want to really just focus in on the custom servers right away because it's something that people have been wanting and asking for for about two years now since the game entered early access it's kind of crazy to think the game entered early access two years ago but you know it's been a slow grind forward but a good one nonetheless and the fact that we have custom servers on the horizon is super super exciting because not only obviously the mod stuff cool, we'll talk about that in a second, uh, that's really exciting, but just the ability to be able to host a, a server event, you know, where people have to enter a password, you don't just have randoms jumping in, and you have rules, and you have these shield walls, and these big sieges led by two clans, that stuff is what Warband and Mountain Blade is all about, that's what really made the, the community of Warband what it is today is these big hosted community events and it's really exciting to see that we might be getting a little bit closer one step forward closer to them big shield wall events even if it is just on vanilla for now uh, until the mod tools come a little bit on later on down the line it's really really exciting and it's great to see that we're getting some news about that. I mean, I think, you know, the, the, the progress forward for Bannerlord has been very slow, but it's always been going in a positive direction. And this is just another one of those. You know, it's been slow, these custom servers, but it's all positive and really exciting. The ability to be able to, you know, host them custom servers, stick a password on it, be able to edit, you know, the, the time of the battle or, you know, the type of maps you're playing on or the, you know, the, the equipment you get or the, the gold you have to spend, all that stuff is really really awesome and I can't wait to see uh, you know what we get further on down the line so we also go ahead if we go further down on this tab or I guess for you guys I'll probably just be popping it up for you but right now I'm on the forums uh, we also get this post as well by Callum another one of the or the community lead on on tail worlds they said the custom maps and mod support will come later on down the line and then later on they also say that they don't want to give a definite answer or even an estimate at this stage of when they will come uh, which you know again makes sense there's no point in saying oh custom maps and mod tools for uh, for multiplayer will come in two months uh, and then you know things come up and they, they have to do stuff with single player and uh, you know that stuff gets delayed and people will be like whoa why the hell is this delayed we need it right now um so it makes sense that we're not giving any definite answers out right now obviously i would love to you know have a, a bit of a timeline but i can understand why not this is still in the early stages of, of coming in and i think probably as well they'll they'll wait to see the response of this you know is this going to drive a lot of people from warband onto bannerlord to play um and if you know if this does have a big resurgence in multiplayer then i think a lot of people you know they might look at it and be like oh loads of people are playing multiplayer now maybe we should make this a bit more of a priority because yeah i mean if we take a look at the uh, at the steam stuff right now 
and the Steam charts, I'll stick that up on your screen right now as well. On the Steam charts, the game is still doing really well. Uh, this month, the game has peaked at 24,000 people playing. In January, I think with 1.71, 34,000 people playing in the peak month. And I think, you know, every single weekend, it, it gets up to that 20,000 mark. You know, the game is still being played a lot. And I think a lot of people are simply just waiting, you know, for these updates to come out and are waiting for, you know, if multiplayer will go ahead and really help to boost that. Because right now, I can tell you, them 24,000 people are not playing multiplayer. They're playing single player with mods. They're messing around. And uh, yeah, they're definitely not playing multiplayer because multiplayer is pretty dead. Normally, there's like one or two servers uh, on the go uh, and maybe one dual server. And that's probably about it. Um, so yeah, hopefully these new game modes, hopefully uh, the custom servers will start to bring more of the community over from Warband who obviously go back there to play the, the, the mods, the private servers and stuff. Uh, and yeah, this is hopefully is just the beginning. So we also got the new battle game mode, but that again, you guys are watching right now. Um, battle game mode seems pretty exciting. I had someone explain it to me over on my Discord. Um, so right now, it's basically like the skirmish or captain cap, uh, captain mode where you have three flags to capture. However, there is only one respawn per round. You get gold for killing people that allows you to pick certain classes and upgrade weapons, etc, etc. Um, and eventually, they want it to be over 200 people playing on one server, which is pretty goddamn crazy. If you guys, guys are watching it right now, like imagine this, but with 200 people, that's going to be insane. Right now, the servers, I think, are limited to about 120. Even still, that's kind of crazy. 120 people playing it uh, is pretty mad. Uh, but, you know, if they can get up to 200, that'll be insane. Especially, imagine these private events. You have battalions moving around. It's going to be really exciting. Um, and yeah, you have one respawn is nice. One, you know, one kill and you get gold and stuff. Um, and yeah, again, imagine custom servers adjusting this, making certain classes like restricted or really expensive. I mean, you have like a bunch of like very good soldiers who can afford the higher tier stuff. I mean, a bunch of peasants running around. It's gonna be pretty mad. Uh, so yeah, the battle game mode seems interesting. A nice addition to it, I think for sure. Um, and overall, I mean, this is just such a positive change. Really exciting to see. Uh, you know, where this does go next, um, you know, again, hopefully we continue to get communication. Tail worlds are normally pretty good uh, with talking about this and letting, letting us know what's going on. I would love to see another roadmap, um, you know, on, on, on Bannerlord. We haven't really gotten one uh, since obviously the last one like six months ago. And it would be good just to know kind of the plans for the future. I understand that it is hard to do something like that because, you know, game development is very, very frugal. Things change all the time. Um, but it would be nice to kind of see by direction because I think mean, we've ticked off a majority of the big stuff on the previous roadmap with the battle terrain system. Um, and all the other stuff that was on it. Um, so yeah, it would be nice to kind of see the future and what to almost really expect in the next six months because I doubt the game is coming out of early access, uh, you know, for a while. Um, so yeah, it'd be, it'd be exciting to see basically, you know, what, what, what we've got in store for the rest of the year because I doubt the game's coming out of early access in the rest of the year. It, I think at earliest, it'll be like, you know, at the end of the year, uh, more realistically, probably March time next year. Uh, we, we would see the game come out of early access. And I think that sounds about reasonable with the pace of development, uh, you know, custom servers coming along uh, and other stuff. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of the private servers down below in the description. Is this something that you guys are excited for? Is this going to get you back playing multiplayer again? If you can load onto some cool clan servers and stuff uh, and start getting a bit more of a community driven stuff, uh, is that going to get you to play multiplayer again? Are you waiting for mod tools? Because again, they've given no definite, uh, uh, definite date about when mod tools and the ability to add custom maps will be coming um but again that is you know something they'll be working on now um i think it's good that we at least know that they are starting to kind of get the furnaces going for multiplayer now and uh yeah hopefully that'll be really exciting so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments drop a like and a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one